The way that user behavior uh, can impact eCPM is really based on how users interact with your sites. So let's say, for example, your website grows quite a bit and you have a lot of return users. Well, return users are less likely to click on ads than unique users or users who are coming to your site for the first time. If you look at some sites over a long period of time, as their audience grows, their click-through rate will not grow at the same rate. And that's often because they're adding new content which users are finding valuable and interesting, and they're spending more time engaging with that content. So even though the user is seeing more pages, they're not clicking on ads at the same rate. So how users interact with your site, if you have a lot of repeat users, you're likely to see that they don't click as often as on ads as unique users. If you have a forum site where you have a lot of regular participation from users, then those users are going to click on ads slightly less than users who come, look for a certain amount of information, and then leave immediately. So there are a number of things publishers can do to get a better understanding of the fluctuations that they see in their eCPM. One of the things we recommend is that they integrate their AdSense account with their analytics account. And in doing so, they can get information, for example, about the eCPM by region so that they can know how users in Latin America monetize compared to users in Asia. The other thing that publishers can do is set up really granular channel structures. And what this will allow you to do is to understand how different content on your site monetizes. So let's say, for example, you have a lifestyle section and you have a finance section. You're probably going to want to understand what the effective cost per thousand impressions is on both of those sections. And setting up different channels to monitor that content will allow you to have that information. So in conclusion, my suggestion to all publishers is really to gather as much data as possible and to look at all of your different data points together. So you're going to want to look at your traffic the same way you're going to want to look at your audience and look at that in conjunction with your AdSense data and then you'll have a better understanding of how your AdSense is performing over time.